Uganda Christian University Mukono was the venue for the heated debate themed media and democracy that brought together the academia, civil society, students, public and the diplomatic corps. Once we get into bed with government, then we, 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 we cease to ask questions on behalf of the public. We cease to ask the tough questions we're supposed to ask. Members here Kenya told us we have poverty. These people are not given opportunity. But then what? What are the steps that these civil society organizations that you say have taken to actually reach their information to the state? Thank you. Thank you. Majority of the discussions were of the view that government lets the media exercise its mandate without any form of interference. So for you to go out and label someone an imperialist, I think it's wrong. Respond to the substance. If, they, if they're asking you questions, let's have that debate that focuses on issues. Let's have a debate that's actually got substance. Let's stop name calling. Let's stop labeling people. Let's stop victimizing people because they're asking questions. It is uh, been very averse to the scrutiny of the media. It's been very averse to the scrutiny of civil society. It's been very averse to the scrutiny of uh, even the international friends that we have in this country. So it's basically been averse to any form of scrutiny. However, government officials called for collaboration with the media in its push for socioeconomic transformation. Being one-sided and private media dedicating much of their airtime on criticism of government won't solve Uganda's structural problem, argued David Mafabi, a senior presidential advisor and private secretary on political affairs. I want to suggest that we think together. We build spaces where we think together. Civil society, the media, political actors. There must be spaces where we think together without the anger, where we step back a little and engage on the fundamentals. Gracing over the event, Atelio Pasifici, the EU ambassador, called for tolerance, professionalism, media freedom and respect for human rights. We should sit together and say, okay, there has been something that is not strictly in line with the terms of the agreement we have signed. How are we going to rectify it? How are we going to address it? So this is the kind of discussion we love. But as far as the European Parliament is concerned, they have noted something which was not in line with the articles of the binding agreement we signed 20 years ago, which, by the way, is going to expire in 2020. Many youths aired their grievances on Uganda's state of affairs, especially the rising cost of living and high levels of unemployment. Dennis Igoa and David Matovu for UBC News.